It's late January, and this is where I get to live. You may be thinking, gee, that was brutal. Okay, so we cut a, a tongue right there. Together. Nice and tight. I don't know, it looks really good. There's definitely, can as you can see, we have growth. Uh, probably some of it is uh, two feet more long. And there's still lots of growing season left. Bay laurel wood. There you go, shaving sharp. You know, I just want to get better and a lot better. And you can't do that by just running out every once in a while, uh, like spread out through the year and just doing a little bit of chopping.
I finished my cord of wood. Yay! Big applause for me. I just think everyone that uses an axe very much should learn to sharpen very well freehand like this. Um, and I think the best way to do that is just even when you're at home to sharpen your axes this way with either a puck or just a, a regular rectangular stone like this. Take it off of here and use it as a fish club. <laughs> because that's about what it's good for. This is absurdly thick, you guys. Oh my god. This is much better. Let's take a let's make some comparisons here. And again, let's take a look at our leak bed. No charcoal on this end. And then we're going into 5% charcoal here and 10% charcoal down there. Yeah? Yeah? Oh my God. And this it will do, not once only or for one season, but very possibly for a century. Where an old coal pit has been burnt, the land never seems to wear out. The first settlers point to the coal bottoms that are 50 years old, still by their exuberant vegetation, marking well the spot where wood was converted into charcoal. So what I'm going to do is I sort out these shells for one pile and then like the charcoal and tiny bits of shell and ash for another pile and also the fragments of the kiln wall like this that break off. Time to slake the lime. That's always fun. <laughs> 